everybody today I'm going to talk to you about what you need to buy when you're having a baby now a lot of people with their first child they're quite confused they're not sure what to buy what not to buy and then you go out there you go shopping it's a bit overwhelming there's a lot of stuff and you get confused on what's the best thing and all that so um, I wish I had someone to tell me what I needed to buy when I was um, having my first child so I wish someone had told me so that's why I'm making this episode and I learned so much and then when I had my second child I knew exactly what to buy and what not to buy so I wish someone told me so today I'm gonna tell you what you need and what you don't need maybe as well so the first thing is babies need clothes of course um, so um, get some Look, this is the advice I'm going to give you and I'm going to tell you what my mistake was first. My mistake is that I went to the shops and I saw all these little pretty shoes and all these lovely gorgeous little little small feet shoes and I was like oh it was so cute and then I ended up buying loads of shoes which I did not need. Babies do not need shoes by the way. They don't need to wear shoes unless you want to kind of make a photo shoot of your little baby wearing cute little shoes obviously they're not going to be walking um, until the first year and then they're going to be walking so um, you don't need to buy loads of shoes if you're really really tempted and you find a cute little shoe that you just want to be like oh you know you want to maybe treasure and say to your child oh look this is how small your feet were maybe you can get a shoe okay so what babies do need are body suits now body suits you can't get enough body suits because babies they grow so quickly so try to get maybe three to six um, month body suits um, if you um, want to get a few newborn ones then you can get a few newborn ones but because they grow so quickly I would say get some three to six months body suits and body vests trust me this is something that you will dress your baby in a lot and it's so handy um, you can get many different variations. I like kind of the softer fabric ones. So you can, you all notice the quality. If you buy a cheap bodysuit, you will notice just by feeling it that it's bad material. And um, and then you will know that if you buy a better quality one, um, the, the fabric is a lot softer and a lot more gentle to touch. So yeah, so you can get that. And they come in many different colors and um, patterns as well, some of them have. You can try to keep the bodysuits and the body vests neutral if you're not sure of um, the sex of the baby. This is another important piece of advice if you're having a baby. Think about when your due date is. Is it gonna be in summer? Is it gonna be in winter? And a lot of mothers, they make this mistake. They end up buying a lot of winter clothes when they're having a summer baby because they shop early and then they end up with all these clothes that they're not really gonna dress the baby in because the baby will be too hot or vice versa. So think about what season you're gonna have your baby and um, get clothes to suit that. Um, if you are having a winter baby, think about getting extra cardigans um, and um, maybe to add layers and also um, a coat. Now I like the all-in-one coats, the ones that you zip from head to toe because for me it was a lot easier and especially when I want to leave the house quickly and you know, I don't want to fiddle around with the baby and get the baby changed and zip the baby up and I'm good to go in the pram, off to go. So since I mentioned the pram, um, with the pram, try to get a pram that has a um, car seat. Whether you have a car or whether you don't have a car, I think it's nice to get a pram that has a car seat. Because what happens is that the car seat goes onto the pram and then as you're um, as you're riding your pram along the street, you can your baby can see you, and it's nice to kind of see your baby, especially if you're a new mum. You want to kind of be comforted to the fact that the baby's okay, and when the baby's in front of you, you can see if the baby's sleeping, if the baby needs you, and it's nice. And also, um, afterwards, when the baby grows up, and um, they can sit on the the chair of the pram, the I mean the upright position you can take off the, the baby seat and put them straight into the pram so then you don't need to buy two prams you've got one pram and it does two things 
um, and then um, also think about um, afterwards you will have to buy another car seat when the baby grows up so if you are using the same car seat for the pram you can you will have to get another car seat once the baby once the baby is maybe over one years old you will have to get another maybe car seat for the car so that's another thing that you will need now in terms of prices of prams there are so many prams there are so many so many prams um, different prices and again parents get so confused on which pram to get and my advice is go to the shop look at the pram see how it feels see what you what what works for you and what you to to, to basically um, kind of customize it to your needs I like prams that have um, a tray for the for the child so when they want to eat or if you want to give them something a quick snack on the way they've got a nice tray in the pram also I, I like a pram that has a cup holds or something where the baby can put the their cup I also like a pram that has maybe a nice basket to put my things in because especially if you're shopping or you're going out and you, you just want to grab a few things to pour at, in the pram, it's really easy, it's quick, it's got a nice big basket, so maybe a nice lovely basket. And some prams, they have sections where even the mother, as she's using the pram, she can store whatever she wants. And I had a pram like that and I absolutely loved it and I was putting, you know, little things that I wanted um, in the pram and then you know it would be so easy just to get them out and use them maybe for the child maybe it's tissues maybe it's anything but it was just so handy having that little compartment where I hold the pram um, I had all the all access to the little things that I wanted so it was really nice if you're traveling by car you will need um, sun blinds to cover um, the sunshine from your baby's face and the final thing is a changing bag get a changing bag that has a lot of lovely little compartments where you can put the baby's bottle if you need the baby's wipes nappies and it can be all nice and organized and it's very handy to be nice and organized because you're a busy mum or a busy dad and you just want to kind of get things out and use them when you need so get something like that you can also get changing bags that have changing mats in them that will they come with the bag and that is also really handy so if you're out if you're at a friend's house if you're anywhere you've got something to put your baby on the other thing is babies need nappies so stock up on nappies maybe put a section in the in in your drawer in your room that is dedicated to kind of nappies um, if you want you can get a nappy changing um, table or little compartment I didn't have one but I had like a plastic piece it was like a long lovely Winnie the Pooh plastic piece where I just put wherever I wanted so I wanted um, to change my baby on my bed I would just place it on the bed and I would change the baby and also I had one that folds which I put in my bag so when I wanted to go out I just you know unfolded it so um, get nappies and get um, something that you can change the baby on um, I prefer the one that I move around with like the one that you put on the bed like I said because as a mum, I'm so tired, I'm exhausted, maybe I haven't slept the night, or maybe I'm changing the baby, you know, in the middle of the night, I don't know. Um, also, you can get a nappy bin, and um, na or you can get nappy bags as well. Um, so you can get a bag bags that are for the nappy bin and you can get little nappy bags where these are perfect for travel some of them are even scented and you can just um, roll up the nappy put it in the nappy bag and um, and yeah just throw it in the bin um, so those were really really handy you also need to get um, some baby wipes now baby wipes they come fragrance and fragrance free for a newborn baby I would you know I would recommend fragrance free obviously you don't have that scented smell but because I feel like a newborn it's so you know it's so delicate so beautiful and you don't want to use any sort of harsh fragrances or anything on the baby so yeah you can use baby wipes or you can use um, 
cotton with a bit of water. If you want, you can get a round, um, it's like a round bowl, it's called like a top and tail bowl and you can put a little bit of water in that and for the first sort of um, for the first sort of um, months of the baby I was doing that I was using the cotton with water and cleaning the baby that way so you can do that as well and to get some nappy cream now babies bottoms get a rash most babies bottoms get a rash so think about getting a nappy cream I recommend Sudocreme because it was really good I really liked it and it always made my babies feel better so think about that so now you need to think about whether you're going to breastfeed or you're going to bottle feed and for me I recommend breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is the most amazing thing and I'm so pro breastfeeding you don't understand it's just the most amazing thing for the baby for the mother and um, I, I, if there's anyone around you that tells you bottle feeding is, is best no it's not breastfeeding is always best of course it wins hands down all the time it protects your baby anyway I'm not going to give you a lecture about that but what I'm going to tell you is that what you need now if you're going to plan to breastfeed you need um, you need to get breast uh, feeding pads actually even if you don't think about breastfeeding and you've had a baby you need breastfeeding pads because you're going to be leaking milk so you need to get some breastfeeding pads to put in your bra so that you don't so that the milk doesn't go out of the bra and onto your clothes and it's really embarrassing so get that also a lot of people have recommended nipple cream now um, it's not something I'm familiar with but a lot of people say it's really good so um, if you're having difficulties with that you know the nipple can get quite sore so maybe um, get one and if you face that maybe you've, then you've got something um, for that so if you don't want to breastfeed you've made that decision or you are going to breastfeed but I still recommend this get a bottle a small bottle you don't have to start with a big bottle if you're planning to, to bottle feed get loads of bottles that so you have loads to work with um, get the teat to um, the age that you need uh, get some um, powdered milk and um, make sure you've got a method to sterilize your equipment so yeah make sure you've got all these things and um, once you've got all these things you're good to go so if you're feeding the baby again like I said babies get messy so get some cotton bibs get some muslin squares which are great I love them um, if the baby vomits if you know you need a, something to wipe something with you've got it and it was so handy to have them um, so they're just basically white um, sheets of fabric that you could just use whenever you need to so the next thing is sleeping babies need to sleep and sometimes they just need to sleep in the living room while you're holding them even so it's always good to have a, a Moses basket or somewhere to place the child in um, I found that really really helpful and don't worry about the, t the noise from the TV and all that because they actually say it's not good for a baby to sleep in complete silence then they'll never sleep unless there's complete silence so don't worry about the noise and stuff like that but get yourself a Moses basket I found them really 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 helpful you might use the Moses basket for your baby's um, sleep arrangement in the actual bedroom but if you don't you can get yourself if you don't want to you can get yourself a cot where you can put the baby in um, and maybe keep it neutral if you're thinking about having another child because you can easily you know unscrew it once the baby grows up and put it away and that's what I did and then when I had my second baby I just took it out again I had a white one so it didn't matter whether I had a boy or a girl some parents are against this some parents think it's great to, to swaddle your baby so maybe get a, a swaddle or a cotton wrap again it's really preference some people say it helps the baby sleep better and um, they say all, all sorts of other things as well now I didn't want to swaddle my babies really hard but I sometimes just wanted to kind of make them feel secure so so I just kind of placed a cotton wrap around them so you can do that 
and um, again you don't have to do it really tight it's really up to you I don't want to tell you exactly how to do it but you'll know it's mother instinct you'll know what your baby needs so you need to bath your baby so what do you need you need a baby bath now if you're short on space you can get a bath support to put in the bath for the baby I didn't quite do it that way I just used the baby bath and then because it's so difficult trying to hold the baby and pour the water on them so difficult to hold the baby especially if you're alone so I got a baby support sponge I prefer the sponge because the other one is quite hard and I didn't want to put my baby on something cold and hard so I got a baby support support sponge I'll um, put the link in the description box if you're thinking of getting something like that and um, that really really helped me so I'll just place the baby in the sponge and then I'll just bath the baby so you need body wash and baby shampoo now go with a mild brand you don't want anything harsh on your newborn baby so maybe kind of do a bit of research find out which one's really good you can get all sorts of body washes and shampoos I got one which was like a top and tail shampoo that was combined you can use it for the for your hair for the baby's hair and you can use it for the body so you can get something that's combined so it's entirely up to you and then I got um, a baby sponge, a soft baby sponge. I didn't want to use anything hard on the baby, of course. So just a nice baby sponge. Um, maybe get a few as well. So if you feel like um, you need to change it, you'll have another one at hand. I hope this has helped you and I hope it helps anyone out there that's gonna have a baby so if you know someone that's gonna have a baby also send them this video and maybe like I said it will help them and it's such an amazing experience being a parent I hope you enjoy every little bit of it take good care of yourselves as always and thank you for watching bye bye